Welcome to the centre of key. In today's class we're going to focus on the arms, the upper body and the chest uh, and really try to bring on some strength and openness into that area. We're going to start really simply with taking the arms out in front of us and I just want you to circle your hands around the wrist joint. Okay, and just take some nice deep breaths. <sighs> Release, so I'm trying to soften your shoulders as you have your arms out in front. And let's take the hands the other way. So nice big circles with the fingers going around. Mm, good, all right. And let's keep one arm out and we're just gonna stretch through the wrist. So we're gonna reach around with the other hand, take a breath in, and as you exhale, pull your fingers back. So the arm is straight, we're just pulling on the fingers. Breathe in, point the hand forwards, and then exhale, we pull down. So make sure you're not just pulling on the fingers, you want to actually have your hands over those knuckles there. Breathe in, point, exhale, pull back, push the heel of the hand forward, so you have a stretch right into the shoulder. Breathe in, point, and then exhale, pull down, feeling that stretch through the top edge of your wrist as well. And let's bring it back to center, breathing in. Let's do six more, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. Fantastic. All right, let's do the other arm. So take it out, reach around, big breath in. Exhale, pulling the fingers back, push through the heel of the hand. Inhale, flat. Exhale, pull down. Feel the top of the wrist stretch. Breathe in, center. Exhale, pull back strongly. Push through the heel so the shoulder gets a stretch as well. Inhale, flat. Exhale, pull down. Breathe in, center. Let's do six. One and two, three, four, five and six. Lovely. All right, so arms come out again in front. Take your breath in and just exhale. Rotate your arms strongly inwards. Breathe in, center. Exhale, rotate the arms outwards. So feeling that right into your shoulders. Breathe in, center. Exhale, twisting. Breathe in, center. Exhale the other way and center, let's do six, one, and two, nice strong work, three, four, five, and six. And we can take the arms out to the sides now, have the palms facing forwards. Just notice if your shoulders lift, try and relax through the shoulder blades, take a breath in. And again, we twist the arms strongly one way, breathe in center, exhale, twist them the other way, feel the chest moving, breathe in center, let's do six, one, and two, three, four, five, and six. And then just float your arms into your lap gently. You can close your eyes if you like. Just feeling that energy through the arms. And let's do a few shoulder rolls. So take the shoulders up and back. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades down. Big circles through that shoulder. Lovely, and go the other way. Big circles going round back and up and forwards. Lovely, <sighs> lovely, let that go. So let's take the arms up to the ceiling now. So palms are facing forwards. We can twist the arms here too. So take your breath in and exhale, rotate the arms strongly. Breathe into center, exhale, rotate the arms the other way. Breathe in center, six of those, one and two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so let's keep the arms up with the palms facing forwards. Try to get the arms as close to your ears as you can. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, pull your fingers back so your hand is flattening towards the ceiling. So you breathe in, point the fingers, exhale, pull the fingers back. Breathe in, point, let's do six. So one, two, three, keep lengthening through the arms, five, and six, lovely, good, all right. And then we can also just work the fingers by squeezing them shut and throwing them away. And we can do this breathing, of course, so nice big deep breaths and just squeezing and stretching, squeezing and stretching the fingers above the head. Good, just two, 10 more, so 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one and then float your arms gently back into your lap again you can close your eyes for a moment take a couple of breaths soften the shoulders just feeling 
some energy, some blood energy moving through those arms already, getting them ready for what we're going to do in the rest of the class. So we're going to come onto our hands and knees. So in tabletop, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Okay, we're just going to start by plugging through the arms, feel them get a bit longer and just draw your belly button in slightly. So we take a breath in here and as you exhale, stretch your left arm and right leg in out away from you. So the fingers are stretching, the toes are stretching away. Breathe in, bring the hand and knee back. Exhale, take the right arm and left leg. Just notice we don't want the leg going up too high. Keep it in line with your back and stretch the fingers away in front of you. Breathe in, bring it back. Exhale, left arm, right leg, stretch. Feel as if someone's pulling your wrist and your ankle away from each other. Breathe in, bring it back. Exhale, right arm, left leg. So arm is next to your ear, don't let it swing out to the side. Breathe in back, just one more each side. Exhaling, push down through the hand on the floor to get your balance. Breathe in, bring it back. And exhale, left arm and right leg. Keep the belly drawing in. Lovely. And then coming back. Good. All right, so have a quick moment in child's pose. Let that go. So about three breaths here. <sighs> nice big breath out. Lovely. All right, curl yourself up gently through the spine. And we're coming back onto the hands and the knees. So we're going to do the same thing we just did, but this time we're going to repeat it a couple of times before we switch sides. So it looks like this. Take a breath in. Exhale, stretch the opposite arm and leg out. I want you to breathe in there and see if you can stretch even further. And as you exhale, we're going to draw the elbow and the knee together. So squeeze all the breath out. Inhale, stretch and lengthen, toes to fingertips. Exhale, draw it in. Try to get the elbow and knee to touch, curl through the spine. Inhale, stretch and lengthen. Exhale, squeeze it in. Last one. Inhale, stretch and lengthen. And then exhale, bring the hand and knee back to the mat. Lovely. All right, so let's try the other side. So take a breath in and exhale, extend the arm and opposite leg. So as you breathe in, stretch, make it get even longer. And then exhale, draw the elbow and the knee and squeeze into the belly. Breathe in, stretch and lengthen. Imagine someone's pulling your wrist and your ankle. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, stretching and lengthening. Exhale, squeeze it in. And let's breathe in, stretch and lengthen. And then exhale, bring the elbow, elbow, <laughs> the hand and the knee back down to the floor. Lovely. And again, we'll just do a quick little child's pose, just a few breaths. Curl into a ball, ah, softening as you breathe out. Ah. Lovely stuff. All right, curl up through the spine again, coming all the way back. And we're coming onto the hands and knees. This time, I want you to come onto your fingertips. Yes, yeah, so not flat hand, but actually on the fingertips. I like to call this spider hands because to me it kind of looks like a little spider crawling along the ground. So what we're going to do is some push-ups here. So the bottom stays above the knees. We're going to take a breath in. And on the exhale, we drop the face between the hands, squeeze the shoulder blades, and then breathe in, we push up. So exhale to go down. Breathe in to come up. Exhale down. Inhale, we lift. Let's do 10 of these. So one, two, keep the belly button drawn in. Three, four, inhale up. Exhale, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And inhale up. Lovely stuff. Let's tuck the toes in behind us 
and just walk your bottom to your heels. If you can sit on your heels, that's great. If you can't, just keep your fingers on the floor. Just getting a little bit of a stretch through the Achilles tendon, through the soles of the feet here. It can be quite nice. And you can shake out your hands if you like after doing those little push-ups. Good. So we're going to do some more push-ups in a moment. All right, for these ones, we have the hands below the shoulders. For this one though, what we're going to do is breathe in and on the exhale, we're taking the face forwards of the hands. So we're not coming between the hands. So you're going to have to squeeze your elbows into the side of the body and bend them as you come forward. And then inhale to lift. Exhale, squeeze those elbows in. Inhale to come up. And exhale. Inhale up. Let's do eight of these. So one, two, squeeze the elbows in. Three, inhale up. Exhale, four, and five. Nice strong breaths. Six, inhale up. Two more. Seven, and eight, and inhale. Coming all the way back up. Again, we can just sit, stretch the heels, shake the fingers. Lovely. So a lot of wrist work. We're going to stretch the wrists out um, slightly differently now. So what I want you to do is let's take the right hand and flip it over. So the back of the hand is pressing down onto the mat. So this can be a bit strong. So some of us might have bent elbows. We're trying to straighten the arm out though, if we can. And I want you to spread your fingers of the right hand so that they're spreading out. And we're pressing down into the back of the hand, into the floor. They can stay like that. If you want to go a little stronger with your left hand, don't turn it over, but sweep the fingers out to the side so the fingers are pointing back towards you. And we're holding and breathing now. So one hand is on the back of the hand, one hand on the palm, but both hands are facing towards our knees and if you want to intensify that stretch a little more just take a breath in and as you exhale just lean back gently and as you do that keep pushing the hands down into the floor inhale come forwards and exhale pull back inhale forwards and exhale pull back and then come up and we just let that go give the hands a bit of a shake again, just sit on your heels. <sighs> really good to get the wrist joint flexible, keep it flexible. <sighs> we can get a lot of stiffness in the wrist if we're not careful. All right, so let's do that stretch on the other side. So we're gonna lift the left hand, flip it over, placing the back of the left hand on the mat, spread your fingers apart. All right, and press down through the back of the hand. Now this is optional, you don't have to do the second part. But if you want to, you sweep the fingers around and so they're pointing towards your knee. So both hands flat on the floor. One hand is upside down, one hand pressing down. Both hands pushing into the floor. Try to straighten the elbows as best you can. Take a breath in and exhale, just leaning back gently, feeling that stretch through those wrist joints. Inhale, come back and exhale, pull. So you don't have to do the second hand, you can keep the other hand straight as normal if you like. And last one, exhale. Good, and then gently coming out of that. Again, give the hands a bit of a shake. Lovely, and let's just come back into child's pose for a moment. Let the arms relax, let the head sit on the floor. If your head doesn't get to the mat, you can always put one fist on top of the other and sit your head on that. Okay, otherwise arms are just down beside us. Just a couple of breaths here. Noticing some warmth in the wrists, in the fingers. Hmm. Lovely, all right, let's curl up gently, back up. Lovely, all right, so we're going to make sure we're at the back of the mat. So the toes are towards the back of the mat. And what we're going to do is come back onto hands and knees. We're just going to do a little pose where we breathe in, take the bottom to the heels and stretch the fingers forwards. And then a 
as we exhale, we come up and then we drop the hips to the floor and push through the hands. Maybe we can look up towards the ceiling, but if that's not good for your neck, then just look forwards. And we breathe in, take the bottom back, so fingers stretch, arms are nice and long. And exhale, drop the hips. Now notice if your shoulders creep up, press the shoulders down, feel the chest squeeze forwards. And again, breathe in, take it back, bottom to the heels, stretch the fingertips. Exhale, coming through, drop the hips now. Keep those arms pressing down. Don't let the shoulders draw towards the ears. Pull the shoulders down and away from your head. And let's do one more. Breathe in, take it back. Hold the breath in for a moment, stretch the fingers. And exhale, take it through, press through the hands, push through the arms, lifting, maybe looking up to the ceiling. Lovely. And then let's just lie on the belly, have a little rest, let your arms go, let your head go to the side. Take a breath or two here. So we're working up towards a couple of strong movements to really activate the arms. Get the lungs working. So we've just done all the preparation that we should need. Good, all right, so let's come back onto the hands and knees. Now, we're gonna go into down dog, but what I want you to do is just measure out where your hands need to be. So I want you to take your bottom back again, stretch the arms and spread the fingers. So that's where we want our hands to stay planted. Come back onto the hands and knees. Now tuck your toes into the mat and that's where your feet are gonna stay. So take your breath in and exhale into down dog. So pressing the bottom to the ceiling. We're looking back between the legs. The belly is drawing in, the arms along. So push through the hands into the floor. Nice deep breaths. Good, all right, and then gently come back onto the hands and knees. Quick little child's pose. We're gonna go back into that down dog in a moment. Just relax your arms, take a breath. Make sure your knees are slightly apart so you've got room for your chest and your belly to just rest. Good stuff. All right, so curling up again. So we're gonna combine some movements now into short little vinyasa sequence. Um, and I'm gonna show you strong and gentler options of that sequence. So again, we get our down dog position set up, okay? So we're gonna start by taking a breath in, exhale into down dog, take the hips up, push through the hands, push through the heels. Good. And then we're going to breathe in, come to a plank position. So when we're in plank, we want to push through the heels, squeeze the belly, plug down through the arms. Now this is where I'm going to give an option to get a, make it a little bit easier. If you want to, you can drop your knees to the floor. But if you do that, don't let the hips sag. Keep the hips and belly drawing inwards. Alright, so we're going to take a breath in. And on the exhale, we're going to squeeze those elbows in and lower the chest towards the floor. We can come all the way down and we're gonna untuck the toes and then breathe in, come up. And we're just resting on the tops of the feet and on the hands and looking up. Good, and then we come all the way down. We can tuck the toes in, take a breath in and exhale, push back into a plank pose. You can have your knees on or off, up to you. And then big breath in. And exhale back to down dog. And just hold there for a moment. Keep breathing. So we're going to repeat that a few more times. So big breath in. Exhale coming into plank. If you want, you can drop your knees. If you want to go a bit stronger, take a breath in. And exhale lower, gently, flat. And then come all the way down. Untuck the toes. We're going to breathe in, squeeze into cobra, pushing ourselves up, breathing out there. 
Good, and then breathe in. Come back, tuck those toes in, and exhale back up into plank. You can have the knees on the ground if you need to. Take a breath in, and exhale back into down dog. Couple of breaths, we're gonna do that sequence one more time. So big breath in. Exhale into plank, squeeze the belly. If you need to, drop your knees to the floor. Take a breath in and exhale, sinking to the floor. Good, untuck the toes. We're gonna breathe in, lift up, lift up, push through the hands and out to the floor. Tuck those toes in, big breath in, squeeze those elbows in and exhale, pressing up into plank. Take another breath in, and then exhale back into down dog. Just a few breaths here. Push through the heels, stretch through the hands, tailbone lengthening away. Look back between your knees. Mm, lovely, all right, and then bring the knees back down. I'm gonna walk the knees through and roll over onto the back and have a rest <sighs> and breathe. Just feel the chest now expanding, feel the warmth in the arms, feel the strength in the belly. <sighs> Just feeling your heart beating now as you breathe in and out. <sighs> Quite strong movement, so we'll just have a minute or so rest. Give the body time to simulate what you just did. <sighs> Feel the breath coming right down through the chest into the belly. Feel the shoulders just rolling back into the floor. Good. All right, so we're going to get ready to do the last little bit of the class before we finish. So bend the knees up, feet are just slightly apart, feet are parallel, so don't have the toes turning out, feet are parallel, pointing forwards. And we're just going to press the arms down beside us. Why don't we actually, let's set the arms above the head and let's open up the chest. So fingertips are reaching, hands are shoulder width. We're going to start here and then we'll bring the arms down part way through. So just feeling your heels pressing into the floor. Imagine you're holding a squishy ball between your legs. The knees aren't touching, but when we lift the hips, we don't want the knees to fly apart. So if you imagine you're holding something, then there's a good chance your knees will stay closer together than flying away from each other. So chin to the chest, big breath in, and exhale, lift your hips up off the floor. We're just gonna hold for a few breaths. So stretch through your fingertips, Feel the ribs lift, feel the armpits open. Try and breathe through your nose if you can. Chin is tucking to the chest, push through the heels. Feel the knees slightly inwards. Good, and then let's sweep the arms down. And if you can, either press the palms into the floor or if you can, interlace the hands and squeeze the arms down into the floor. Try to get the wrists together, the hands together. We're breathing, still through the nose, shoulders rolling back strongly, chin to the chest, bottom lifting up, hips high. If you can, try and soften your buttocks a little bit. Feel the back lifting you. Couple more breaths. Feel the chest opening as you squeeze the shoulders back. Lovely. All right, release your hands. Gently float back to the floor. And we just let that go completely. Arms relaxed beside you, palms up. Legs are nice and long. Softening. Feel that softness through the chest. Really feel the breath now. Noticing the ribs. 
expanding with the breath, feeling the lungs underneath the ribs expanding. And now the belly also moving with the breath. Just a little bit longer. Feeling that softness through the whole body. If you're ever having a down day, this is a great class to just really bring some energy into the chest to get rid of any sorts of feelings of sadness. You know, activating the lungs have a really good effect on improving our mood. So even just going for a brisk walk, even a little jog if you're into it, can really help shift how we're feeling. And as we start to get the breath moving in and out a bit faster, a bit stronger, it really helps shift the mental state that we're in. Hopefully you can notice that just by doing this class. So let's pull the knees in gently. Just hold here for a couple of breaths. See so if you can relax your shoulders. Keep the chin tucking in a little so your neck is long. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, lift your head to your knees. Squeeze them in. Inhale, bring the head back. Let's do one more. And exhale, squeeze head to knees. And let's rock and roll now along the spine a few times. One more. And then we come up to sitting to finish. Sitting however is comfortable for you. We can let the hands rest in the lap. Close your eyes if you like. Just notice the shoulders really soft now. Feel the arms, they feel a bit longer. Maybe they feel a bit lighter or maybe they feel heavier. It just depends on your, your body, what you can feel. Just observe what that is. Feel the breath expanding the chest and the belly. Exhale, soften through the belly, also softening the shoulder blades. And let's breathe in, sweep the arms up. Exhale back down, breathing, arms up, exhale back, last one, breathing in, arms rise up, exhale, extend the palms down now to the center of the chest, close your eyes again, tuck the chin in and just take a moment to acknowledge your lungs, the way they work for you every moment of the day, absorbing oxygen, releasing carbon dioxide and other waste products without you really even noticing what's going on. So some gratitude and thanks for these amazing organs we have inside our body. And just being aware of our breath helps calm us down. Thank you so much for joining me in this class today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you in another class real soon. Namaste.